Good day, everybody. Good afternoon or good morning, good evening, whenever you may be watching this. Welcome to yet another midweek moment. Pastor Doug here with you, and it's good to be together this first week of April, um, stretching our way slowly into spring and on to better weather. And most assuredly, as we talk about the church, we are entering into Holy Week. I did another midweek moment on Holy Week a couple of weeks ago. You can look at if you'd like, but Holy Week defines Palm Sunday really either you could consider it right up to Saturday, which sometimes there's an Easter vigil service on Saturday night. Uh, many at St. Andrews are used to that, but that's considered Holy Week, Holy Week. And I just wanted to say a word uh, to you for this week's midweek moment about uh, Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is often kind of overlooked because we think an awful lot about Monday, Thursday, foot washing, Seder meals, um, well, in our case, we'll have the Agape Supper, uh, a beautiful service wrapped into and with fellowship and good food uh, Thursday night at, at Faith at 630. Uh, but we think also a lot about Good Friday, the death of Christ. And uh, we have services at St. Andrews at noon on Good Friday. And then that evening at 7 p.m. Uh, is another uh, service at John Knox Presbyterian Church in Speedway. Uh, this theme that they have in their service, of which all the ministers in Speedway are taking part, uh, ha centers around being good enough, being good enough, a great theme, because we are all good enough for Jesus to die. There's no services on what I call Easter Saturday, uh, that 16th, and then we will gather uh, for Easter on, on Sunday the 17th. Uh, there's an eight o'clock a light supper at, at St. Andrews, an eight o'clock light supper at St. Andrews. There's a sunrise service on Easter at Faith. That service will be at 7 a.m. So if you'd like to come um, over and bring your uh, a chair, it'll be outside if we can with weather permitting. A beautiful sunrise service at 7 a.m. at Faith Lutheran, hopefully right there in the parking lot. St. Andrews has a light Breakfast at 8, that service is at 9, as you know, and then faith at 11. Anyway, Palm Sunday kind of gets overlooked in it all, and that'll be this Sunday, uh, the 10th, the 10th of April. From my phone, from what uh, Google search brought up, Palm Sunday recalls an event in Christian scripture of Jesus entering into Jerusalem and being greeted by people waving their palm branches. For Christians, it's a reminder of the welcoming of Jesus into our hearts and lives, and then in fellowship one with another. And so, Christians, it's a reminder of welcoming Jesus into our hearts and our willingness to follow the Lord. All of it comes centered around, for Palm Sunday, this Bible verse from Mark 11, which I will read before we start the services. The triumphal entry, now this is the New Living Translation. This is from Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 10. As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to the towns of Bethphage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of them on ahead and said, go into that village over there, he told them, and as soon as you enter it, you'll see a colt tied there that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you what you're doing, say the Lord needs it and will return it. The two disciples left and found the colt standing in the street, tied outside a house. As they were untying it, some bystanders demanded, what are you doing when untying that colt? They said Jesus had told them to say, and they were permitted to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus, threw their garments over it, and he sat on it. Many in the crowd spread their coats on the, coats on the road ahead of Jesus, and others, listen, others cut leafy branches in the fields and spread them along the path. Now, many in the crowd uh, saw Jesus in the center of the procession, and the crowds all around him were shouting, <clears throat> praise God, bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest heaven. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And that is the Palm Sunday text that we'll look at 
Now, there's a longer series of verses for the gospel reading on Palm Sunday, which might stand alone uh, for us. And uh, but anyway, that's Palm Sunday. And since St. Andrews goes first at nine o'clock, um, we'll gather in the lobby narthex. We're going to have palm branches, as has been done in the past. And we will start with the song, All Glory, Laud, and Honor, All Glory, Laud, and Honor, a beautiful hymn of the church. Mm -hmm. And we will process in, uh, we'll come up the uh, side, uh, come up into the center of the sanctuary and then go down the side aisles and come around to wherever you would like to sit. And if you're not able or uh, whatever, we'll let some that want to go in early can do that. And that'll be the processional for Palm Sunday at St. Andrew's this Sunday morning, the 10th. Over at Faith, weather permitting, we'll gather out in front of the building. Same thing. I'll read this gospel lesson that I just read. Set the stage for Palm Sunday. We will also have palms. We will also lift them up. And we will also sing All Glory, Laud, and Honor. It's a favorite hymn of mine. I love it. And what a great hymn for the church on Palm Sunday. It's about the only time during the year that we sing it. It's got lyrics that are about Palm Sunday. It's just like for all the saints in early November on All Saints Day. Uh, so that's Palm Sunday, setting the stage for what we will do together uh, as a family of faith as we process in. And I look forward to it. And so this will begin Holy Week. Again, just to repeat, and this has been promoted and announced all over the place, but the next thing we'll have after Sunday would be Thursday night, 6.30, over at Faith, an agape supper honoring Monday, Thursday. Monday is a word in the Latin that means commandment. It centers around that theme of that night, Jesus washing the feet of the disciples on the night he was betrayed. So that service will kind of weave into and around with the food that we'll be having and the meal. Um, uh, Becky Allball over at Faith does a tremendous job of putting the food together, and all are welcomed and invited. On Good Friday, St. Andrews hosts a noon service uh, that day, kind of a tenebrae format. We'll have scripture and hymnody woven together. And then Good Friday night at 7 at John Knox Presbyterian in Speedway is a community service for everyone in Speedway who would like to come and from anyone from faith as well. Nothing on Saturday. And then we have Easter Sunday, as I said earlier. Again, that Easter Sunday, there's a sunrise at 7 at faith and a light breakfast um, at 8 at St. Andrews. Any of these, either congregation can come to either place. In fact, the whole thing around Monday, Thursday, Agape Supper, it's in the shared agreement that faith would put this on. We will go from St. Andrews and then vice versa on Friday. Hopefully, faith folks will come to the noon service on Good Friday, and together we'll celebrate these last days of the Lord, and we'll celebrate, quote unquote, his death on Good Friday, because most certainly on Easter, we will once again celebrate his resurrection and our gift of eternal life in heaven. May God be with you. Namaste. Happy first week of April. A blessed holy week to you and yours. As always, I stand by uh, for uh, any needs that you may have. If you need to talk, you got a family member with anxiety or worries, I'm standing by to help. And then also know that all that information about the times and services has been well published um, in the emails and in the newsletters. You can check it out there, and I'll see you Sunday for our processional. God be with you till we meet again. Thank you.